Flippin'. Trippin'. And cashin'. With Paul May. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with my son and wife who's currently on the phone talking to her other husband. But we are in none other than dun 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 Roswell, New Mexico. Our first order of business is to go inside the UFO museum and see if we are going to be a believer in UFOs or not. Let's go inside. What's flipping, tripping, and cashing? Glad you asked. My name is Paul Mann. I'm a full time comedian. And when I'm not on the stage, I like to have fun finding great deals at yard sales and thrift stores and flipping on main bit. Or road tripping on my latest company show or having fun adventures all over the way. Or hunting cool and creative geocaches from all over the nation. Today, we're tripping. Let's go. Welcome to Roswell. No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. Guess we're not going to Roswell. Man, it stinks out here. It smells like butt fungus. Well, we are inside the museum, visited by not green Martians, but silver ones, with basically silver duct tape around their neck. They have duct tape in space. That's how they got here. That spaceship is all made of duct tape. When I returned to duty, I was a master sergeant in the U.S. Army Air Force. A member of the crew which flew the debris to Fort Worth. The people on board, including Major Jesse Marcel, said it was from a flying saucer. I was involved in loading the material, which was extremely lightweight. The original statement changed from flying saucer to weather balloon, but I'm certain it wasn't the weather we discussed. So ladies and gentlemen, in here is just kind of a uh, witness accounts on the board. Uh, people that uh, were there saw the crash and uh, reported it. And then this is basically kind of the cover up, quote unquote cover up, um, saying it was a weather balloon. And then they use crash site dummies and stuff. But these guys know better. These guys know better. So this is, uh, for those watching, is the UFO Museum uh, on the main strip of Roswell. This is our first landing spot. Uh, checking out the uh, theories or trying to prove the validity of these accounts. As you can see, here's a picture of one of the aliens. The, this is the actual alien they put in there. This is not a recreation. These And these are the actual doctors that uh, tried to experiment on what happened. They're actually um, posing as still as they can be just to kind of recreate what happened but these are the actual ones that were there and uh, now they just work full time here in the museum to um, kind of give a, a bird's eye view of what it was like at that situation at that moment uh, I'm not sure what the significance of the horse is but these are newspaper clippings on a statue horse I don't know I have no idea what that even means Gray lives matter, people. Gray lives matter. Oh, uh, what else we got here? Some of the other stuff of different, not necessarily Roswell, but other sightings or uh, strange things in the cornfields. If you guys remember that phenomenon. And then we got this uh, U.S. military guy, Halt, and uh, he takes his name seriously because uh, he has not moved since we've been here, so he's pretty much halted in this uh, glass casing. And then uh, just a lot of um, things that I can't show you on the video, just as far as reading about, learning about newspaper clippings. Yeah. 
and so on and so forth. Um, close counts first kind, close count second kind, third kind, daylight disc, radar visual, all kinds of close encounters. Military site. We got people that uh, like to draw art of aliens in space. Uh oh, that guy's got earth in his hand. Man. That's scary. Oh, of course, these guys right here. These are the true extraterrestrials. Leia, Leia, point that thing somewhere else. I'm friendly, okay? And one day, one day these guys will come to Earth and uh, teach us the ways of the Force. So we look forward to that. Um, TV shows and movies about Roswell. A little bit of humor, Roswell humor. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna crash quick so we're at the Air Force dummies. <laughs> Shiny flying things crashed, little green things did. We bury evidence, pretend never happened. Early government at work. Uh, well, there goes the neighborhood. Funny little comic strips. Um, all in all, you know, it's not much to the museum, just a lot of you know reading and of course just little replicas of green men um, they do sell Star Wars um, action figures apparently um, they teamed up with uh, Lucasfilm to bring about this museum but the uh, like I said the museum itself is uh, not, you know not very big at all but uh, the founders of the museum if you want to learn about the founders um, we've got Colonel Sanders, and, um, and uh, yeah, and I think he um, was a cult leader at one time, that guy over there, yeah, let's see, we can sign in here, which, but we've already signed in, so that's okay, uh, we can show the world our hometown, hey, you passed it, no! Let's see what we do here. Check in. P. May. No. I'm not doing that. You know why? They want to validate that address, which means they are going to solicit me. <laughs> I fooled them. I just acted like I was checking in to my hometown. All right, so I basically have walked around the circle of this museum to show you guys everything that has taken place. Let's see where my son and wife have made it to so far. There's the wife. She looks like an alien with that mask on. Hi, are you from this world? Or are you from your anus? No? Okay. Toby. Are you a believer? Uh, what do you believe, son? Uh, I don't know what I believe. Tell the, tell the community here what you've read so far and what your op opinion of what you've read so far is. Um, basically, I read that um, aliens are real. And uh, I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> you don't believe aliens are real? I don't know. You think it's a weather balloon, huh? No. So what right. you're saying is you believe the government over eyewitness accounts. Is that what you're saying? I have to be there to see it, to believe it. Oh, so you're from the Show Me State of Missouri. You have to see it to believe it. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard us here first. Um, by the time we get done with Roswell, we're going to see if he is a believer or if he is a, what's the word I'm looking for? A non-believer. I'll just, I'll just put non in front of that. I was actually looking for a different word, but we're going to go with that. So, uh, Without further ado, I'm going to um, leave you from this museum and we'll see what other cool little Roswell findings that we can be able to show you in Roswell, New Mexico. 
Um, you guys all look the same. Anything, you know, even the smile, the smirk, nobody's smiling. Um, they only got four toes. They only got four fingers. But yet they are styling the silver duct tape. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And I, I really don't know how four people, there's no way, look. They had to have four different saucers. That's a, that's only a single one man saucer look. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I have found the first extra terrestrial right here. It is, oh my gosh. Who are you really? Who are you? Ah! Or, I did picture. Uh, I gotta take a picture with my phone because apparently a alien that's offering cookies painted on a wall is a picture moment for my wife. So we are going to take a picture right there. All right, good job, honey. That was a good pose. Let's see what we got in here in this little alien pastry shop. We've got our calabaza pumpkin, our manazana apple, a pioneer pineapple, commodity sweet potato, potato. Sir, is this the uh, is this the uh, proper spelling? Potato? Is that a potato? No, potato? No, they spelled it wrong. <laughs> I just, yeah. I, I just thought sweet patato. I, I didn't know if that was like a different. It's a new word that they put in from here. There you go. All right. I have reason to believe that the human beings that are in this town are not actually humans, but they have been able to take on our likeness and pretend, pretend that they are one of us and try to live amongst us. Here we go. But we will get to the bottom of this that way. There's an alien dog. Tourist. Hey ma'am, do you have some alien stuff here? All alien stuff. She's got all alien stuff here. Okay, well, I'll look around and see if I can. Thank you. Check out here. <laughs> I'm checking it out. Checking out. Do you have a clearance rack? Yes, sir. On the back side, um, far left side, far right side. Excuse me. Okay. We always got to go for the clearance rack. Twenty-five percent marked off of the fourteen ninety-five. Jedi in the streets, Sith in the street. Uh. What we got here? And Got Roswell. That's a small. I need mediums. That's a medium. Purple shirt, Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, Roswell. Roswell. Yeah, small. Well, we are in New Mexico, so that would be an example of a illegal alien, huh? Yeah.
hey, here's a little play area for kids and dead aliens. So there's Spaceport to Roswell, the Roswell UFO spacewalk, which is basically a black light adventure to take pictures in a black light and pay five dollars to do it. Not gonna die. We're gonna go over there. No, you're not. It's a virtual. This one's just a glow in the dark five dollar fee. I know. So All right, we're gonna go to look at virtual. Virtual. Yeah, let's go across the street. Honey, how's that even work? Well, let's jaywalk. Watch it. Cute chap. My wife is cute. Yeah? You really believe that? I think she's beautiful. She's my unidentified flying object, if you know what I mean. Uh, we are not the droids you speak of. <laughs> All of your droids have been in your possession. None of them have been reprogrammed or replaced with lookalikes. Yeah. Right. At any point in the last two days, have any of you encountered an individual or individuals possessing perfectly symmetrical faces? This is Roswell Mayor Dennis Kintai. I want to welcome you. Absolutely that not. Well. All right, that's for the best. Enjoy your stay in our Lastly, country. most importantly, are any of you carrying any extraterrestrial goop, slime, ooze, mucus, or glop? As these items are prohibited. Oh, Toby, go blow your nose. <laughs> I can't tell I'm in a now. We're good. <laughs> I think we're clear through security. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Spaceport Roswell. The rest of everything is going to be virtual. And then these two are doing the follow up. Right, so. So play out. Just play the. Red. Hit the white one and then. Don't, okay. don't do the red one. Do the white one and then take the three back and whatever you have them back there to hit the. Yellow. And don't press the nuclear launch codes. I'll try not to. <laughs> Alright. Well, you can direct your attention to the screen so you guys can. Ooh, get chairs. Hello, my name is Kyle, and I'll be your chief flight attendant here at Spaceport Rock. Before we begin your amazing adventure through space and time, I'd like to acquaint you with a few important procedures and safety information. When it's time to board, a crew member will escort you and your party to your pod. I think I know her. Once everyone in your group is seated, your flight attendant will distribute virtual reality headsets. Those guys are from Jiffy Pop. Put the headset on, place the headset against your face, and pull the strap over the back of your head. Headsets can be adjusted for comfort using the Velcro straps located on the side. Mm, nice hair. Please take your glasses off before you put your headset on. If you find you need glasses in order to experience virtual reality to its fullest, your flight attendant can assist you in making adjustments to accommodate them. On your journey, you'll be immersed in a world of excitement and adventure. Above, below, and all around. To fully experience your environment, place one foot on the foot lift and use the other to rotate your seat. Ooh. Remember, you are in a physical Barbara's space chair. during your journey. Please be aware of your surroundings and courteous to your fellow travelers. <laughs> For some travelers, virtual reality can cause some minor discomfort and disorientation. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, simply remove your headset and ask a flight attendant for assistance. When your journey is over, you'll be instructed to remove your headset. Once your flight attendant has retrieved all the headsets from your party, it is safe for you to leave the pod and return back to the lobby. As a reminder, intergalactic regulations require passengers to comply with crew instructions and posted placards. Failure to I don't follow think that woman there is going to comply. Fines and or ejection into space. Thanks again for your attention and for the entire crew here at Spaceport Roswell. Enjoy your flight. Alright, well the first three was on to follow me. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Krypton. Oh, oh, get to go to Dagobah. I like that. These are the pod rooms. This is actually going to be uh, while we're under the virtual. It's going to be under experimentation. I will, if you don't mind, uh, if you do them first, I'm going to record for just memory purposes. Is that cool? Oh, what? Memories. 
Making memories. Oh, my I, do you want me to record? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm recording. You do them oh, first no, with okay, the glasses. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. So here's yours. What's your name, by the way? Sally. Sally. That's, that's an extraterrestrial name there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> put them over your face. So you can go ahead and put them on your head. And there's straps on the sides. Dun, dun, dun. And I'll definitely need to use my glasses underneath. So. Okay, that's fine. Otherwise, it'd be a very blurry experience for me. I'm gonna go start their briefing and I'll bring your goggles back. Alrighty. What does this say? This tiny. I'm gonna readjust mine quite a bit. Yeah. A small alien. Be small. Ooh, this thing really circles. A little space chair. Uh, Oh, Sally's back. I gotta straighten up. Sally, thank you so much for the yes. adventure. We are Audi 5. As they say, push the airlock button that Sally made. Look at you. You're a genius. That's, you got that from Alien Technology. That's all I know. All right. Amanda, till next time. Hello, sir. Are you from this world? Me. Are you from this planet? Yes, sir. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> you guys want to go to the hospital or the airport next? <laughs> well, what'd you guys think? I mean, it's, it's a fun virtual reality experience, but not at the expense of $13.50 per adult. But we did have a 12 year old child at $8.50 that saved dad just a little bit of money. And uh, we'll have to repent for his sins later for lying. Car. Uh, the car's right there. Let's go. Let's go. Run! Run! <laughs> we made it! You don't have to read every sign that we get to, honey. Let's this go. I got a boxer out like basketball. As it flows down a gentle undergrounds slow to the Pecos River Valley, out. the water Pull becomes out. trapped out. beneath a layer. A lot of terrible rock builds up. Honey, look, a retail store. What? <laughs> honey, Dunkin' Donuts up ahead. Mm, it's Pecos River. Oh, Pecos, your river. When the water reaches the valley, first of all, you get through the back. Rock and it. You give them a rock and okay. So they said that there's a lake here somewhere, but we have been walking for days and have not seen a lake. I think it may have dried up, honey. This is the last of our water. They said it's a bottomless lake. I would just like to see a uh, puddle. This is the last of our water supply. Oh no, give it to me. I get it. No. No. This calls for murder. <laughs> oh look. Someone conveniently built a little bench with shade for us to sit in. But we don't need no shade because it's actually a good clock cover today. It's going to be nice and sunburned. With all this dryness, it looks like we were walking in 200 degree weather, but it's a pretty mild 79, 80 today. Yeah, no humidity, a little bit of a breeze, and look, huh. an old dog turd. Oh, no. Wait, listen. There's humans up ahead, I smell them. Here's the faded sign. It says, you're a da 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 um, they like their lakes really, really huge and big in New Mexico. So, <laughs> this lake is humongo. What, what, what is this? A lake for ants? Yeah, this is seriously, this is it. Don't even see any fish in there. Oh, wait, we're gonna go walk a little further. Oh man, that's it's got that nice smell to it. It's called. They got a little swimming hole over there in a the pavilion. Oh man. It's like the smell like it's worse than ours. Have you got your swim clothes on? Yeah. All right. Nice. Nice and clear little lake there. Nice lake. Is it cold? Oh, it's cold. Is it? Yeah. 
How cold? What? We're in New Mexico. Wouldn't be that cold. It's spring water. Is it Springfield? Oh yeah. Let's go down here. He's going into the bottom of the lake, which means he's not going to be able to touch her in a minute, as I would assume. It's a nice little pretty little beach, this little swimming hole out in the desert. Like I say, this is the lake where it ends right where you step up. But enough water to get it. There's a couple other smaller lakes around as well. And, uh, but we hiked the trail over there. It's about a mile hike. And then there's a couple of geocaches we got as well. The wifey's over there concession stand trying to get free food. So, so today we are finishing up in Roswell, New Mexico. Tomorrow we'll head to Rio Rancho, New Mexico, where I have a comedy show and we might find some fun adventures along the way. There's my beautiful bride. Hi, hi. Huh? There's like little lakes across the road, uh -huh. but that that's pretty much... That's the main trail? Yeah, well, trail. I told him what, um, there's a few geocaches, but it's on a highway that we can wrap around and grab real quick. It'd be kind of fun to do. And, uh, and I told him by the time he gets out, we'll walk his stuff over there and yeah. rinse his feet and put his shoe socks back on. I don't think it's going to be wet as a shorts and mile hike, though, which will kind of dread and then just sit on one of the trash bags or something. I don't know if it'd be worth it. So honey, the road. Um, we've this is what day number two officially on the road? Yeah. Okay. So how's the trip been thus far? Um interesting. Okay, this is a video which means you gotta expand. So you go from one extreme climate to the other extreme climate and it's just kind of like So before crazy. we made our west Within coast trip hours, the difference. Tell the audience before we made our west coast trip what did we do? We were in Arkansas, North Arkansas Rolling hills, mountains, trees galore, caves, waterfalls And then we came to New Mexico And it's flat for miles and miles and miles and miles of red clay No grass so it's extreme difference. Yeah. I mean, it just shows the variety in the U.S. Yep. And that's uh, New Mexico from where we live is literally about 12 hours away. So, you know, it's amazing just driving 12 hours how much the climate changes. Just and one stuff. day. Just and one day. Just a day travel yeah. anywhere in the U.S. starting in the middle. So we'll be in New Mexico for one more day tomorrow. We've got a show in Rio Rancho. Yeah. And then um, after that, we go into Sedona, Arizona. No, no, I'm sorry, take the back. We'll go to Phoenix, Arizona and see her cousin. And we'll have some adventures along the way. Then after so, that, we go to Sedona. The most important thing for people to know is that if you come to Roswell, New Mexico, you can survive because they have a Walmart, a Sam's, and a Target. And we did pretty much all of those too. I don't know why, but we did. We did not. We just did Sam's. Sam's. And Big Lots. We did Big Lots because she had to pee. TMI. Okay, she had to pee, but we won't mention big lots. This boy likes the water, he likes to swim. He'll get his brother on Friday. His brother's currently in California on his senior trip, and uh, he'll meet us in Flagstaff, fly in, we'll pick him up at the airport, and then We'll have another boy with us for the remainder of our journey out west. Dun, dun, dun. So we're basically coming up with um, ideas for Roswell to beef up their tourism industry. Um, as someone that tours a lot, we have you know, different ideas. Christy, what's one of your ideas? I think they need aliens, dressed, people dressed up as aliens on the streets like New York. Or just but real ones. Of, just bring in some real aliens that can work the, yeah. work the then, place. They, they have, can be illegal, it doesn't matter. You know? they have, on the playground, they need to have a fake alien spaceship for kids to climb in. Okay. One of my ideas is I, uh, you know, a lot of tourists are walking down the, the main street where most of the uh, shops and stuff are. Um, somebody just randomly abduct one of our children, you know. 
um, just like alien abduction. And then we have to go on a search or a hunt to be able to find them again in a different uh, unclosed that, location. I think that needs to be a paid gig, kind of like Clue or murder mystery. Right. Yeah, or and, and we, 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 we have to know if it's, uh, if it's real or not too. So yeah. that's one thing. Maybe they got a special name tag like this is a fake abduction. I don't know. <laughs> something something like this. We will we will give like your children alien. back within 24 hours yeah. and we're like, hey, date night. You know, something like that. I don't know. Free child care. Give your children the free trauma experience. Yeah. But Roswell should build a, you know, Disney's got Florida. Roswell needs a, a space world and build in a big amusement park out here in Roswell. You know, all you know, rides like space invaders or alien abduction or uh or uh what is that uh, probing you've been probed no beam they need a beam light ride the blue beam the blue beam the blue beam the green lantern the yellow streak that's what they call me when i go to the bathroom the red so, streak so tell me what's uh what's an idea you have um well you already took my Idea, but... uh, we also think that the downtown strip needs to be all neon lights and jazzed up with the alien kind of like. I think there needs to be an underground spaceport. Ooh, space space area. There you go. Um, I think there should be technology. Space train. Space a hyperloop train. space train. Hyper space train. They're making. They're making those. They need one of them. That or Roswell. just utilize the Star Trek technology, where if we just be beamed from one place to the other. Well, that sounds cool. Oh, man. Sorry, Star Trekky fans, <laughs> as they call Trekkies. Yep. Yeah, that's our ideas. That's all we got as far as ideas at the moment. But we might think. We'll come back in a year and see if you incorporated any ideas. Yeah, anybody that's seeing this that lives in Roswell. Well, there are, there might be a few abductions, but there might not be real ones. Oh, also, <laughs> uh, this has nothing to do with the alien abductions, but we are at Bottomless Lake. Um, maybe put some really cool stuff on the trails for us to look at. You know, so far, all we're seeing is a bunch of lizards running at our foot and. Maybe some shrubbery. Rattlesnake. Give us shade, some sort of shit. Maybe just make this trail one big long canopy that goes that leads to the lake. That could be better. And I won't sweat as much. Give us a golf cart. Yeah, yeah, a golf cart. How hard is that? Just right at the first trail. Get on the golf cart. Wimpy, wimpy. Lead us to our destination. But all in all, Roswell, um, you guys are putting out an effort. I know you probably got other things to do besides you know entertain, entertain uh, tourists but it, these are just you know some helpful suggestions maybe you might consider in the next you know 10 20 years yeah. <sighs> i'm gonna go pee Oh. Thanks for watching. So whether you like flipping, tripping, or catching, or all three like me, enjoy the adventure and making a lasting memory. See you next time.